Hey there, don't forget to subscribe and also hit that bell button so you'll be notified every time that I post. See you! Uh, so guys, welcome back. This is where we left off on our last video. And today I'm going to continue and the task for today is to, cre is to create the text filled with the round edges and the button as well. So let's go. And uh, what I'm going to do here is just to write, let's create the container, new container. I want to put it inside of a container. And here I'll give child new uh, text form field. I will use this one, controller. We're going to create a controller called category name controller you probably don't have this option because I, I already have the controller here i forgot to create so you will de you'll declare a variable you'll give it variable the name of the variable will be category name controller equal has a new text editing controller right you create this variable then you come and use it here i already had the variable but okay it's okay i hope you understood where this comes from uh, and now we are going to do what decoration. Uh, we are going to give new input decoration. I really like the auto completion of IntelliJ. It's very cool. And here for the decoration, first we're going to give the label, and the label text is going to be enter. Well, I have to give this. Okay, and the label is going to be enter a category. Okay, and now the hint text is going to be hint text is like a placeholder. Uh, it's going to be example dogs, bikes. cats and so on so this is basically um the categories you can write on the text field to get the peaks from right let's try hard reload and see if this is going to work now it usually doesn't but okay let's try it now if it takes more than five seconds it means that it's not going to work five four three two one Okay, definitely the hard reload doesn't work for me. I'll use the nor normal one. So let me stop the execution of the application and run it again from zero. So I'll stop the video. I don't want to make you wait to see this. So friends, the processing is done and this is the result that we get. Enter a category. You see, when you click on it, the hint will come as a placeholder, right? Uh, well, the container is not really helping. Let's try to use, uh, I don't know if this is going to work. This is not like this in the first, in the original project, but let's try a list. List view, no. Mm, let's try to use a list tile here and here we're going to give title because list tile don't take it doesn't take child use title for list tiles let's run the application and see what's going to happen if it's I'm trying to see what's the best for us to use a container or a list tile here yeah it's the, the best thing to do is to use a list tile. You know why I use the list tile? Because when you use a container, like these will come until, like you don't have these spaces here. So to have these good looking things, you can use a list tile, right? Okay, uh, now what we want to do, we want to get these edges round and all of that stuff. To do that inside of decoration, 
we can try to find border and then for the border we will write outline oops outline input border is what we want and inside of here we'll use border radius and we'll give border radius dot circle and we are going to I guess I have a small mistake here let's see what's happening well um, oh I guess that the thing is here it's not circle it's circular yeah we don't use circle it's circular okay border radius circular and we're going to give a radius of 25.0 okay meanwhile we run this and try to see another things okay okay uh while we're running because we don't want to wait this is what we get you see here uh we can use uh something called content padding we're going to give a const then here uh, sorry for this hint we are going to give edge oh no not edge um not edge let's erase the con here also let's try to give these um Uh, uh, you know, let's try it with edge const. Uh, we'll use this edge insets. Okay, let's give this twenty point zero. Let's give this uh fifteen. Sorry, fifteen point zero. For the right, we'll give the same as the left, 20.0. And lastly, we're going to give this uh, 15.0. We can try to run this. And see what's going to happen pause a little bit and the processing is done uh, and I told you guys sometimes I pause because I pause because I don't want to wait and see all of these things processing because sometimes it takes some seconds and I don't I don't want to just wait here but okay this is done uh, the second step now would be to inside of these I'm doing this as slightly different than the way I did my first project, but you know, as long as it works. We're going to give subtitle. Uh, let's try if this can work. We're going to give new material. We're going to give uh, color for this material. We are creating the button now. Colors dot. I want to give it light blue and see if this is going to work. Mm, elevation elevation is basically a small shadow let's give it 5.0 and what else can we do here um, border radius one border radius dot circular and in here we're going to give 25 again 25.0 is the radius um what else can we do here let's create a child actually before create a child let's see what's happening let's see if this will work because i'm doing small test i'm doing slightly different than my first project 
so let's see how this will come off yeah it didn't work okay you know why uh, you know what don't let's try to do a child maybe because we don't have a child uh let's try to do let's try to do material material button here uh if i write new material button maybe it will give me more options new material button you see when you write new you have on press now just give an empty function here because we just want it to work for now uh, we're not going to apply any logic for now we're just doing the interface and here let's give this a child and here we're going to enter a text and author text says sorry uh search and for this text we're going to provide style let's style our text a little bit text style uh let's give this a font size of um uh, i like 22.0 let's give this font weight let's give a font weight of bold and uh, what else okay let's try to run and see if this is going to work now maybe the first time because we didn't have any child it didn't work uh, yes it does work but we have this small problem here because they're giving us a subtitle it's not taking the whole screen and we don't really want this plus we want to have a padding here so what can we do to solve this problem i don't know let's just let's open here i want to make this code visible we are going to come back to the mobile interface afterwards okay i was trying to make this different from my first project and it didn't really come nice the way we expected it to come but i know how we can modify this because i really know what the problem is you don't erase this we don't want to waste our time just come just cut Control x to cut or command x if you use a mac uh delete this uh you can come down here create a new list tile right and then inside of this new list tile you have to give a comma here instead of this new list tile you create a title and then you paste okay there is one of the commas here and to make this look nice let's copy this padding from here and we want to give a small padding here also we are going to give a small padding but now just give some 10.0 and see what the outcome will be and let's change the color of the text i didn't really like the color of the text you can do uh control alt shift l if you're using intellij just to organize the code like this control alt shift and l okay now here let's provide a color color for our text and i'm going to do to give colors dot white now let's run our application wait some seconds and here we go here we go here we go you see the space here is way too large and uh yeah the space is way too large let's 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 do one thing come here to the padding let's give five 
for the padding give 5 reload meanwhile here for this material I guess that we can change the height here let's give this no we can't because I didn't really like the height of this um but it's okay it's okay we can just leave it like that let's add inside of this material button okay let's try to change the height inside of the material button let's give it 45 Point zero of height and I'm just te testing this number I don't know if it's going to look fine but okay how can we know let's open the application and see if it's going to you see now it's looking kind of good let's give it 47 point five run the application for the last time Yeah, and I guess it's looking good, right? So now you can click here. You can write whatever you want. And you can hit search. Uh, for the next video, I'm going to teach you how to change from this page to the next page. And in the next page, you're going to use a list view to display the images. Okay. Okay, it's fine. See you on the next one.